Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so it is the next morning. It is Thursday, and um, basically we went to Outback. It was very good, very good. And then um, we just came back to the hotel and sat on our butts for like an hour and a half. So, what? It's true. Okay, whatever. So, um, yeah, we are about to get breakfast, and then as far as the docket for today, we are, it's a light day, basically. Um, so, we're going to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, and then maybe swimming or something later. So, yeah, not much going on today, really. So, yeah, we will see you guys for breakfast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our breakfast. We got a Bistro AM sandwich and some fruits that I will not end up eating. And then we have milk as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the highlight of the trip. Well, for me, it is. Well, second to the week. Well, I don't know, I don't know. This is cool. But anyways, so this picture, I don't know if you guys remember this. Well, maybe you do, I don't know. But this is the Miami Miracle. And this is uh, Kenyon Drake, I think it is. And it was an insane play. I think this was back in like the Ryan Tannehill days or something. I'm not, I, I don't know if it was, but um, this is Gronk. It was hilarious. Gronk tried to run after him, trying to dive and make a tackle, but it failed. That's hilarious. And the Dolphins won the game on the last play. Otherwise, they would have lost. So, yeah, this is really cool. And we will see you guys later on with our visit. I just want to point something out really quickly. Um, so in 1892, let's go through this. Here are the scoring values. Touchdown, four points. PAT, two points. Field goal, five points. So that means that safety is still two. So a field goal was worth more than a touchdown. That's incredible. So, you, yeah, again, you almost want to go for a field goal instead of a touchdown, which is incredible. And then over time, the touchdown gets increased, field goal gets reduced. But another thing that was really shocking, in 1994, the two-point conversion became an option to follow a touchdown. In 1994, that, that seems really late to me. So, yeah. These are just some things I've found really interesting so far. Okay, guys, I just have to record this. Here are some of the team names of the past. The Columbus Panhandles. The Dayton Triangles. It's funny because we were just there yesterday. The Rock Island Independents. The Rochester Jeffersons. The Evansville Crimson Giants. Louisville Brecks, uh, the best one, the Tonawanda Cardex, um, Washington Senators, Milwaukee Badgers, that's interesting because now it's Wisconsin Badgers, Toledo Maroons, Cleveland Indians, interesting, Duluth Kellys, now it's Duluth Trading. Kenosha Maroons, so there were multiple, oh, there were many Maroons, uh, Pottsville Maroons, the Providence Steamroller, uh, let's see, Orange Tornadoes, oh, Bobby would love that, the Orange Tornadoes, the Stapletons, Cincinnati Reds, oh, the Boston Yank, interesting, New York Bulldogs, New York Yanks, yeah. All right, well, yeah. Orange Tornadoes, and then, where was the other one? It was uh, Tonawanda Cardex. Yeah, those were the best ones. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Um, anyways, that was, that was really bad. Anyways, we have, um, 
basically, this is like a referee decision making process using technology. What are you doing? Okay. Um, so, you have five choices on what kind of call you want to make pass complete or incomplete, scoring plays, quarterback pass or fumble, fumble or down by contact or first down. So I'm going to do the one that I've already done just to show you guys like my my thought process, I guess. We're going to do scoring plays. Vikings versus Jets. Here we go. Sam Darnold throws. And so now, obviously, that that's not the only thing that you get. You get three um, different angles, and you have one minute to uh, um, make the call from the time, starting with the time that you choose your first angle. So I'm going to choose this one. Alright. The end zone is at darker green. And you can see right there he's pretty clearly out of bounds. But just because we're petty and we don't want to make the wrong call. We're going to do another one. And he's out of bounds right there before the ball was at the pylon. Um, yeah, we can just replay this again. Right there. Right there. He's out of bounds. So, we're going to make the call. Uh, they said touchdown, we're going to say no, we're going to say reverse, indisputable visual evidence shows the call should be changed, reverse, and that's the right call. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we did that one. So, yeah, that's basically the decision-making process for a scoring play. Dang. There are lots of famous guys here. Steve Hutchinson. I think he was the dad of Aiden Hutchinson, I think. Uh, Winston Hill, not sure who that is. Cliff Harris of the Cowboys. Edron James, definitely heard of him. Jimmy Johnson, the famous coach. Um, Let's see, Donnie Shell. Oh, Troy Palomalu. There we go. Uh, who else we got? Duke Slater. Ed Sprinkle. That's a that's a name. Uh, oh, Calvin Johnson. Yeah, for sure. From the Lions. Um, John Lynch. Heard of him. Oh, Peyton Manning. Yeah, I just almost walked right past him. Peyton Manning. And Charles Woodson is right there. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, we got some more Hall of Famers, starting with Walter Payton, Tony Dorsett. Uh, who's this, Bud Grant? Not sure. It's Jimmy Johnson. Oh, wait, that's another Jimmy Johnson. Okay. Jack Smith. Who's this? Randy White. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Jim Finks. Oh, Kellen Winslow. That was Winslow's dad. Um, they went to Miami. Oh, okay. Uh, Steve Largent, I've heard Seahawks, of him. Seahawks, yeah. yeah. Um, Joe Gibbs. Keynes. Dolphins. Don Shula, I've heard of him. Paul Krause. Mike Singletary, linebacker. Um... Dwight Stevenson, uh, Eric Dickerson up here, I mean, LT, one of the league's best linebackers, Ozzy Newsome, uh, Jack Youngblood, Lynn Swan, there are some big guys coming up, uh, Marcus Allen, there's one, um, Steve Young, Dan Marino, Fritz Pollard, Michael Irvin. I mean, everywhere you look. Bruce Matthews. Uh, who else is there? 
Derek Thomas sounds familiar. Bruce Smith, Rod Woodson, Marshall Falk. Hi. Um, yeah, Dion Sanders. There we go. He's coaching. Oh, uh, coaching Jackson State. Um, Shannon Sharp. Chris Carter, Larry Allen, so many guys, yeah, and then Warren Sapp to end it, yeah, lots of guys here. Alright guys, we are now sitting down for lunch, and um, yeah, we're really enjoying our time here, right Kyle? Oh yeah. Yeah, Kyle's enjoying it, so we must all be. Um, yeah, we're enjoying our time, and we'll see you guys later on. Alright guys, taking a quick look at the store. It's just n nothing much. Just, oh, hey dad. Uh, yeah, nothing much. Just some hats over there. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed by it. No, I mean, seriously, this is insane. Absolutely insane whose jerseys are these is this who the heck is this oh no car what okay i don't get that at all isaac bruce that's steve largent who's this uh, atwater interesting yeah i mean absolutely Insane. And then we have some current jerseys. Juju, who's now on the Chiefs. Baker Mayfield, who won't be with the Browns much longer. More Baker Mayfield. More Juju. Why do why do they think that kids want a Juju Smith Schuster jersey? Anyways, anyways. Yeah, pretty cool. And we'll see you guys later on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we uh, just finished up our tour. We got this football with... Here. Okay, this? You guys see that? Okay. It's really cool. Really, really trippy. My my homies... Okay, no, anyways. Um, and we also got a pretty cool shirt as well. So, um, we are just about to leave the museum and go back to the hotel but Kyle found a geocache if you guys don't know what that is I don't either so um yeah and now we're um about to play catch not on the field because they said that authorization is needed so we definitely won't be on the field but we will just play catch I don't know on the sidewalk area or something so yeah we will see you guys probably back at the hotel all right, so we are back from the Hall of Fame, and we are now at our hotel. We are going to go swimming next, and then after that, I think we're going to go someplace for dinner. So we will see you guys at the pool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for our last pool visit at this hotel. I think we'll probably go swimming tomorrow for yeah, that's it for the swimming overview forecast. Uh, anyways, I don't know. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a nice swim and then go somewhere for dinner. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're going to have a nice swim and we have a pool to ourselves. So that's pretty nice. We're going to jump in, go to the koozie. Yeah, it's all good. So, yeah, we'll see you guys later on. Okay, so we just got back from the pool, and we are now going to a place called Bubba's for dinner, and, um, yeah, not too much going on, uh, tonight. We will go to dinner after that, just chill, and then get ready for bed, so... Yeah, I will see you guys later on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just now chilling in the lobby. Kyle is talking with someone. I'm not sure, but 
well, I do know who it is, but anyways, um, yeah, so, yeah, um, that's gonna do it for today, tomorrow, uh, we got Case Western in Cleveland, and that's just the main thing, um, we are going to a different hotel, that is something, so, our hotel will be in a town called Bowling Green. So, what's going to happen tomorrow is we're going to take a one hour, we're going to have breakfast. We're going to take a one hour drive to Cleveland. And um, we're going to tour Case Western for like several hours, I think. And then we're going to take an additional two hour drive down to or I don't know where, but in some direction, to Bowling Green, and that is where our hotel is, and we'll be staying there for one night. So, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is now day three, I think. Yeah, day three of our trip. Wait, did I? No, it's say four. Okay, I... My brain is just dead. Um, yeah, anyways, um, we are getting breakfast to go because we have to leave early for Cleveland. It is a one-hour drive, and that will take us to Case Western University. So we will see you guys there. All right, guys, we're here at Case Western Uni or Case Western Reserve University, home of the Spartans, and we have like a seven hour day planned, I don't know what exactly what you're doing, but yeah, we'll see. So we will see you guys later on in the day. All right, so we just got done with our little like information introduction thing. Uh, we're going to the School of Management now, which is over there, and this big statue thing, which I'm not totally sure that's supposed to be there for, but anyways, let's just go with it, so yeah, we will see you guys later on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we just finished up with like a uh, business management meeting thing so now we are um, just taking a break we got potato chips and water so we are living the life and we'll see you guys later on all right ladies and gentlemen we have just finished up with lunch and now we are i think gonna learn about Student life at Case Western. Kyle, are you ready to learn about student life? I'm so ready. Oh. All right, we will learn about uh, maybe what kind of sports they have. D three. But yeah. Except for frisbee. That's oh yeah, they're uh, club ultimate frisbee team. D one, very competitive. But um, yeah, we will see you guys after this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just finished up with our tour of uh, Case Western. Yeah, almost forgot the college, but anyways, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Wouldn't you say, Kyle? Yes. Okay, yeah. So what you're seeing right now, vaguely, I guess, is Progressive Stadium, which is the stadium of the Cleveland Guardians. I was there once. It was pretty nice. So, yeah, we are now driving to Bowling Green. Rocket Mortgage Field Bowl. Over there. Rocket Mortgage uh, Field House. Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in Bowling Green. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Bowling Green. The first thing we see from our view is a Buffalo Wild Wings. What a fascinating concept. And then over there, it's actually the football stadium for Bowling Green University, which we will be touring tomorrow, so that is pretty exciting. We are going to eat dinner, which is Panera, 
and then we are going to go to the pool. So we'll see you guys at the pool. So, so. All right. Um. So. What? Um. We have pool number three. Uh, well, actually, we well, weren't in the first one. An oversized place. jacuzzi. So, yeah, I mean, the max height is four feet. Now, guys, here's a little backstory. I, I'm not the, the tallest kid out there. Um, I'm, I sit around like five feet or so, so you guys can point me in the comments if you want. But anyways, um... Hashtag stop pull hate. But anyways, um, yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty depressing pool, I must say. But, um, yeah, we're going to have some fun while we can. And this is all that we've got. So, yeah, we'll have some fun, and we'll see you guys later on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what are you doing? Okay, um, we just got out of the pool, got changed really quickly, and now we're in. The beautiful elevator. So, um, we are going to Buffalo Wild Wings, but I have already eaten because I got Panera. So, while they eat their dinner, I will gladly take my Panera cinnamon bun to dinner. And, yeah, we're going to have some fun. So, we'll see you guys after that. All right, so we just got back from Buffalo Wild Wings. We ran home because it was so cold. So I am out of breath. My cardio is awful. But anyways, um, that's enough complaining. So yeah, today is basically done. That's all that I have for you guys today. So tomorrow is our last day for this trip we will have breakfast go to bowling green and then um we'll head home so i will see you guys tomorrow all right ladies and gentlemen good morning it is day okay let me try to get this right it is day five i think yeah okay we'll just go with it day five so, we have this nice BG logo out here. This is not the view from our room. It's just, like, an outside view. This nice BG logo. I would assume that's, like, a, another training facility or something. The football stadium is over there, as you can see. And then the main attraction is the Panera Bread. So, yeah. Uh, we will see you guys probably when we get to our tour of BGU. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Bowling Green State University. I don't know what it's called, but I think it's Bowling Green State. What? Okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're gonna have like an introduction and then we're gonna have a tour so we will make sure to stop by probably probably all the athletic stuff in there so yeah should be fun and we'll see you guys later on all right quick psa ladies and gentlemen these two that you're seeing right now are the mascots of bowling green they are the falcons so we have frida i think yeah frida and then freddie so very original names. And then over there is a nice, I don't know what you call that, but it's the BG logo with the Falcon and the most important part, the trademark sign. So we are about to get underway with the presentation and I will see you guys after that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the ultimate destination. This is Dwight Perry Stadium, home of the Bowling Green football team, which is historically struggling, to say the least, in America's worst conference. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is still pretty cool. It's a really nice stadium, actually. It's probably better than 
a lot of FBS, smaller FBS team stadiums. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and with that being said, I think this is our last stop until home. So I'll see you guys at home for our last clip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after um, about four-ish hours of driving, we have officially made it home to Illinois. Um, yeah, it's not, uh, I'm already not liking it. But anyways, um, yeah, we will just probably relax for the rest of the day. Well, I'm going to watch the final four games. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to watch the final four games. So, um, yeah, Kyle is going elsewhere. I will not mention. But anyways, um, yeah, that is it for this video. Um, let's see. These will be coming out shortly. And then MLB predictions will probably be the next video as well as March Madness recap. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. But for now, peace out.